Some critical decisions about that Russia investigation were made before I got there. The previous administration chose not to publicize the full story about Russian computer hackers and social media trolls and how they relate to Russia's broader strategy to undermine America. So that's some rare public comments now from the Deputy AG Rod Rosenstein going after the Obama administration in that clip, as well as the former FBI, actor, FBI Director James Comey. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, Fox News contributor with me now, sir, good morning to you. You heard that comment about critical decisions were made before I got there. How did you interpret this from Rod Rosenstein? I thought it was a soft way of him saying basically there was a cover-up. Uh, they knew that the Russians were attempting to influence the election and attempting to hack the election. But they didn't fully disclose that to the American people, and they certainly didn't disclose it uh, to the Trump campaign. Instead, they tried to set a trap for them. It failed. The Trump team did not uh, take the bait, and that's the one conclusion that we can certainly come away with from uh, uh, $35 million worth of investigation. But I thought it was uh, an unusually candid moment for Rosenstein to... Uh, to say what he did yesterday. Okay, the other thing is, just go back. This is in New York City, by the way. Just go back to another comment, a clip from last night here. Watch. Go. did not promise to report all results to the public because, as my fellow U.S. attorneys know well, grand jury investigations are ex parte proceedings. It's not our job to render conclusive factual findings. We just decide whether it's appropriate to file criminal charges. I heard two things in that. I did not promise to report all the results to the public. Uh, but that last comment, we decide whether it's appropriate to file criminal charges. D does Bob Mueller see his job that same way when you read part two of the Mueller report, which punted to Congress, Governor? What do you think of that? Well, let's remember Bob Mueller had one responsibility, just one, to find out whether Donald Trump and or his campaign colluded with Russians. On that one thing that he had to do, he found that there was no collusion. And that was overwhelmingly clear by his report. Now, all the other stuff that he uh, apparently looked into was not part of his mission. He added that because I think that there were people who were working for him who said, we've got to find something. We've spent too much money. We've got too much invested. And they just came away with a goose egg. Uh, so I, I really believe that if Americans would step back and take their partisan hats off, try to look at this objectively, what they would say is that the president was in fact exonerated because the only thing he, he was being investigated for was collusion with the Russians. There wasn't any. None. In fact, the Russians attempted to get them reeled in and the Trump campaign rejected those overtures. Mm. The um, other kind, did you see the uh, interview last night with Sean Hannity? Uh, th this, uh, I'm going to play a, cl a clip here. He's talking about Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. Um, and just watch where this goes with Bill Barr at the end here. But uh, these were the two that uh, talked about the insurance policy, just in case Hillary Clinton loses. Now she lost, and now they're trying to infiltrate the administration. This is long after the election. It's a disgrace. And again, hopefully the attorney general will do what's right, and I really believe he will. So that is about Bill Barr. And he, he's going to testify before the Senate and the House next week. And on that Senate committee that Lindsey Graham, he's the chair of that, there are three Democrats who want to be the Democratic nominee. How's this going to go? It, it's going to be a theater, uh, an absolute show, uh, just like the Kavanaugh hearings were and like everything else is in Congress. I, I think we ought to close the curtain on them, tell them they can't come back until after the election. They're not doing their job anyway, so uh, we're not paying them because they're doing some wonderful service to the country. And it would spare us all the, uh, the hypocrisy of them sitting there pretending that they're interested in getting to the bottom of the facts. But the one thing I think we can say is that uh, Attorney General Barr, I don't know him personally, but I know people who do, who have worked with him for years, and they say there's one thing you can know about him. He is a guy who is totally committed to the idea of genuine justice. Let the hammer fall where the nail is. And so I, I do believe that there are some people who are sweating through their socks because they know Barr to be a man who is going to let the facts lead him uh, to a conclusion rather than to have a conclusion and then try to sum up some facts that would get him to that conclusion. Well, Governor, thank you for your time. Have a great weekend and good luck on your show. Okay? Thanks, Bill. Mike Huckabee, you got a little something in the throat there, don't you? I, I, I blame pollen this oh, time yeah. here. Pollen. <laughs> yes, it is. Hang in there. Nice to see you.